Let's start by getting the latest version of Blender Grease Pencil, version 2.78. We can get this for any platform from the Blender Builder website. Under Download Latest Builds, at this address. Here you can get versions for Mac OS X, all the Windows versions, and all the Linux versions. I'm using the Mac version. On opening Blender for the first time, this is the interface you see, which is not ideal for grease pencil use. Put your cursor here to the little cross forms and drag it down till you see this arrow, then release. Do the same here and release, and then again, and release. Click the Grease Pencil tab to open its panel. Drag this divider down to hide that information. Then drag to the left to hide this panel. Click and drag downward on the corrugated tab in the upper right of the interface, duplicating the 3D view. Then by clicking on this drop-down tab, select Dope Sheet. When you see the divider icon, drag upward on the dope sheet window. From this window, select the grease pencil display for keyframes. Drag downward on the same corrugated tab to create another window. This time, we'll click here and select Timeline. This gives us both the playback controls and the timeline display. Now let's set up the preferences for the interface using File User Preferences. Click on Interface, and then enable these view manipulation options. For those of us who prefer not to look at a splash screen every time we open Blender, uncheck this checkbox. Click on the Editing tab, and enable these options. For my default grease pencil strokes, I prefer a color that's more of a dark sepia. For those who desire a lot of computer smoothing to their stroke drawing, enable this option. I feel that Grease Pencil works the best when auto keyframing is enabled. Click the Input tab, and then check Left. If you have a Mac or a keyboard with no number pad, check this option. Click the Theme tab to adjust the colors and the styles of your interface. Sticking with the default colors, you have only one change to make, and that's down here. Lighten this up so that you can see your strokes more clearly. I prefer one of the darker preset themes called Elysian. I also prefer another background color for my grease pencil animations. Scroll to the top of your preferences window and then disable full screen view. Make sure to click the button Save User Settings and then close the preferences window. Use your scroll wheel to zoom the view out. Then select the camera icon and disable the cursor display. Hold down the shift key and select the light icon as well. Then press H on your keyboard to hide them both. Notice the orange border around a selected item. Press X to delete this item. When right clicking in the interface, we can set the position of the 3D cursor. Let's have everything rotate and scale around that cursor. Click and drag the corrugated tab to the left to reveal a temporary column and then set that to Properties. Here we can establish our rendering settings. From the presets, I'm setting mine to 720p. Grab the corrugated tab to the right to hide this panel. Click the small plus icon in the right of the interface to reveal the properties for Grease Pencil. Click the Display drop-down arrow and disable Grid Floor as well as X and Y axes. With your mouse cursor in the middle of the interface, press 1 on your keypad or 1 from the Numbers row on your keyboard. Then from the View menu, select Align View, Align Active Camera to View. Now we can see the extents of our animation. Hold down the Shift key and the middle mouse button to pan the view. Zooming the view with the scroll wheel always zooms to the position of the mouse cursor. Click on the small plus icon at the left of the screen and enable the Grease Pencil tab, dragging to the right to enlarge the panel. These are the options for drawing, painting, and sculpting. Press T and then N on your keyboard to hide both panels. 
press Shift Spacebar to go full screen and Shift Spacebar to toggle back. From the File menu, press File, Save Startup File to save all settings.